opening the video because we got another box from Amazon Prime. And it says it's addressed to Todd Tucky TNT Amusements. Gift inside. Gift inside. <laughs> <sighs> oh, wait a minute. Pay me. Listen. Put your ear up to it first. Tick, 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 tick. It's for you. It's a bomb. Ooh. It's from... It's from... Nope, you gotta go Ceramic Stein Blue. Okay, no, no, here we are. I love my gift for you, Todd. Any chance you could scream Jonathan the way Captain Kurt screams Ka in Star Trek 2? Love the videos. Any updates of our Star Trek pinball? The <laughs> Rothenbergs. <laughs> Uh-oh. He wants an update. Well, let's see what he sent, and then we're going to give him the update of his dreams. Todd, people either love this or hate it. I think it's great. Curious to know what the guy thinks. What the guys think. Many thanks for bringing Star Trek back to life. Live long and prosper, the Rothenberg. Live long and prosper. Okay, let's oh. see. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's two things. Oh, coffee, your favorite thing. That's not for me. <laughs> the no, French time market. Time. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a Star Trek mug. Are you kidding me? Well, it's not Open for it me. Up, it's for you. It's for you. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a bug! Oh, 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 Pam, oh. please stop that noise. Oh. It hurts my ears. Yeah, your face hurts my eyes. Oh, oh it's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. Here, open it up. Oh, please. look, it's Captain Picard. Just kidding. It's Mark is getting the old Star Trek. Pam, you're not going to take long. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Open, open, what open. Do you do? I want to get the box. And I'm going to open this up. And as a matter of fact, later in this video, I'm going to have some of this very same stuff in. Oh, it's beautiful. God, it's heavy, too. And the best part is it'll hold a lot of coffee. Are you happy? Oh, go where no one has gone before. That's where you're going to go. Bye. Oh. Uh, go, let's go back and look at the Star Trek. Thank you, Mark. I d didn't know who it was from. We thought it might have been one from one of my enemies. Uh, we Yes, we will. We need the handles for a Gorf joystick. But here we are. Look. Playfield is done. Now it's in Stevens work area. Oh, can you hold that for me? Oh, he's playing a record. Copy label. Zip in after 30 seconds. There we go. 40? Yeah. It should be, yes. Okay. Oh, it's bright. Looking good. So, all the playfield stuff is done. Brand new drop targets. Um, we're waiting on. We're going to get spot targets for this, Mark. Um, now, Stephen has not touched the playfield. But, the, so he's going to get, see, now, we actually, can you get real close to this? Good. Now, Walt has kindly offered to film. You can see this. This is all going to be history when we show you later in the video. The finished machine. Now, we just started, look. Dry reward's done. Okay. Uh, this one hasn't been done yet, no. Actually, let me, let me show you something, folks. This is all going to be fixed. When we get these in, oh, <laughs> this is really something. Somebody, look what they've done, see? And rather than fix it right, they've soldered the wires directly. This will fix it once and for all. It's probably what the guy thought. So obviously, we're going to put a brand new connector on that, and these pins will get replaced. And then, because the game is running LEDs, we're never going to have that problem again, are we? Are we, Walt? Nope. So all that gets fixed. Let's see, how does the back look? Pretty good. So, here, this, this is still a work in progress. Blinkers. Blinkers? Blinkers. Anyway, let's go on. I want to show you we sold a coin counter today to a customer picking up a jukebox. And I filmed this earlier. Let's go up and do that. Now, Kurt, we realize that none of our viewers have ever seen a clock coin counter. We are selling it because 
as you all know, we got out of our last location. So, we are going to show you how clock queen counter works. Not you, Kurt. Yeah, let's see this. David is buying it. We're giving him Hello, a really David. good deal, aren't we, David? Yeah, fantastic. $125 for a clock. Yeah, okay. We are counting just quarters today. So here are the quarters. Let's put them in the, in the computer. It's all. This is all computerized, right, Kurt? <laughs> oh, nice cat. Oh, nice cat. <laughs> you turn the other way. Ah, it's my Canada. That fell out of the bottom of my mug, so it turns on every morning. Okay, now the machine is set for forty coins. Okay, because that's how many quarters are in a roll. Now, because we started this in loop, we have to run it until it stops. Then we'll know we'll have an accurate count. Okay, we're well, oh, jammed up. Did I put a dime in there? Is this your first day? Is this your first day? Okay, now, see we're at 40. So you reset the counter to zero. Now notice I spin it, nothing happens. I push the button, and now it's going to count out 40 quarters in the tube here. Now I would have had a paper tube in there, and boom, you're done. Just then? like the TD kiosk. Yep. It's never wrong. This is never wrong. The machine is never it's wrong. Very accurate. It's a wonderful machine. Look. Now you change the tube to a nickel or a dime or a penny. And then you would adjust this by pushing this down. You say you want 50. So 50 would be dimes, right? Dimes. Dime. Five dollars in dimes. And then uh, 25, what would 25 be? Pennies. Nickels. Is it 50? Oh, it's 50 pennies. Maybe, I don't remember. We only use 40. Now, the C is continuous. So that on the machine, the machine will just keep running them out. Like, and then you give the money to your, let's say your location. You say to uh, the guy you're getting it from, look, we have three, we have 3,000 quarters. Uh, so 3,000 quarters divided by four. I, I'm not doing the math now. Are you doing the math? No. There we go! Nice. Thank you, sir. You're hired. <laughs> anyway, look. A good deal for him. He gets a quarter. And we don't need it anymore because we don't have any more locations. Kurt, who is going to pick these quarters up? You are. Who is going to pick these quarters up? David, you not there? you. <laughs> I got a few of You're not supposed to get them. I was going to have one of these boneheads. I have have boys in the back. David is picking up the row 90. Is it all packed up? Yep, we just went over it. Okay, did you take the, are you taking the mech out? No, he's going to keep it standing up. Come back, Mark. Look, another missile command. Vince was just here. Another asteroid. I thought we were just going to do the cloth. And oh, look, what's going on here? a multicolored space invaders. And look, this one has cigarette burner. And look, <laughs> the front door. Okay. It's all ready to go. I'm just going to show it how beautiful it is. It's painted royal blue, black sides. Um, it is set up for coin because David's going to put it in his bar. He's going to make a fortune. At a quarter of play, I say it does six bucks every week. <laughs> and Wallace, what are you doing? Nothing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Go, I'm done. That laugh. That's good for women. But I, I don't even want to put this down until you okay see that wasn't painted and and you can't put no paint on it because you know it slides around oh no no we want to keep it sliding so you can't put no paint on it it's like fine it. isn't it this is the gore it got a new paint job did you remember how awful it was well it's now the right colors and we have new artwork your coin door is being done now get back to work wallace you're upsetting me okay let's move on to the next game no, oh, I love this coffee. Thank you, Mark. You're very good to us. Look, safe crackers coming. Wait a minute. I promised Mark I would do this. I shall leave you as you left me, as you left her. My room for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Jonathan! 
I think I do make a good Kirk, don't I? Listen, before we continue, I have to tell you about this wonderful arcade video game show. And there'll be pinballs there too. It's in August of 2016. And you've got to come. And you know why you have to come? Because right over here, as you'll see, Walter Day, Billy Mitchell, Richie Knuckles, Eugene Jarvis, Joel West, and even me. Oh, no, I'm not coming. I'll be in Disney World. I might okay. go. Frank might go. Frank, will you take the camera? No. Okay, well, go on that website. I'm helping Bob Robert promote it. And look, I don't have to do any promotion to Babe Watch. We'll be right back, won't we? Yes, look at this, another one. This is that overhaul. Remember the one that used to be lit with incandescent lights? Not anymore. With all the extras we've done. Those are small. Something's burning. You know, Kurt, I'm not stupid. Yes, you are. You know, I saw him joking. You know, they tried to pull this to be again. Do you remember the virtual racing video? No, let's cut to that clip now. <laughs> it's video 127. We will. Wallace, will this game support my rear end? I don't know. Try it out. Who's missing? Ah. There's four clips that wouldn't support that thing. No, it's it, 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 it went down a little bit. It's frequency. Oh, I think it's on fire. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 Whose idea was that? <laughs> the only way to move faster if there was a sandwich sitting there. The belt. Nobody cares. They did. They enjoyed watching that clip. <clears throat> and you can't do it again. Not when he's standing there with a smile on his face and he's standing there with a smile on his face. I knew something was I'm up. I'm smiling on my face because I'm leaving. Uh, okay, I, no, 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 no. we got to get out of here. We want to go out, don't we? I'm going home, stupid. Home? It's Father's Day weekend. I have to have this video up for the weekend so people have things to watch. There's only 23 credits on it? I don't know. He's coming Monday or Tuesday to get it. Six can play. Listen. Super oh, bright. Like oh. like. People ask, where do we get the LEDs? We buy our LEDs from three different sources. We have boatloads of them. All different shapes and sizes, okay? I can't I'm not getting over the little wires on the way. You couldn't. <laughs> There's no way you can get up there. No. Look. Here's where we got them from. There we go, okay? And I realize, I think a lot of these places are gonna sell like a set. They say, here's what we suggest for Baywatch. I mean, things like pink up here and in the pop bumpers. Um, wait, all, of, all this is lit with white. We added this lighting so we could add up the bar here, the, uh, the lifeguard tower, I mean, the blues, see? The towers we really like, and now he now makes them. The uh, the towers are from uh, Light Town Pinball, and he now makes them in super bright towers. And we think these regular bright are darn bright, <laughs> but we do have all sizes. Uh, Pinball Life sells some wonderful um, um, LEDs. Uh, we also get see the Comet sells the frosted. A lot of the companies do, and. Uh, the ratio of bad LEDs about one in a hundred. Right, is this about the LEDs or about the game? <sighs> Look. Just like the TV titles. Oh, it's not going to start with Dura. I just needed a lot of little things. 
you remember the rat's nest in it and all the wiring? Oh, we had a lot of fix up in it. But the man that's getting this machine it is going to treat it nice. It's never going to be ugly again. See, once these machines end up in a private home, they're just not going to get the abuse that they got when they were commercially abused. And I mean commercially abused. Okay, everyone, here's the situation. A diver's trap. Remember, Jesus. this equipment One, was made two, three, to make money. Let's go. Shoot the holes, Frank. You think I'm good at shooting holes? There's hole one. Uh-oh. This came off. Where is that from? Oh, that's the back piece. I wonder what happened. That had actually come off one of the tabs in the back. That is where it ended up. You can obviously see this is our first play-by. There we go, lock their ball up. You know how many done of these? We've, uh, we've sold a lot of these, and I think this is our second overhaul. Uh, people ask what an overhaul costs. It generally runs between $2,000 and $2,500, and, and the price includes the LEDs. Uh, we are so busy now, we're currently not taking any new projects. But that may change. So, and especially the fact that this video is up here, going to be up here forever. So just get in touch with us. See how great I'm not playing? Now, once I light shark, okay, it turns on the shark o -matic flip. I think you actually don't, isn't it all the way up here? Well, it would have helped if I went all the way around, wouldn't it? See, the auto is shark flip. Is that neat? Very nice programming. I think Joe uh, Kamikoff uh, did the programming. He did laser work. I never really learned how to play the game, and I keep forgetting the flippers up there. Anyway. Frank, do you have enough time to cover another video, another game? You can, I'm leaving. No, you can't. You can't. I'm leaving. I'm trying to see if this. Kurt, is there anything else done? Nope. Maybe we should end the video. I just thought of something. Happy Father's Day. Good night.